Swishing with hydrogen peroxide for teeth whitening? Let's talk. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, let's talk about hydrogen peroxide and teeth whitening. And before we get started, a quick shout out to the Teeth Talk Patreon and the YouTube members who support this channel. I love that you are part of my mission on spreading evidence-based dental health information. So here's the thing about hydrogen peroxide. It is an antiseptic used to cleanse wounds due to its ability to kill bacteria. And yes, it can also be used as an oral debriding agent to swish with, to be used as needed to help remove mucus, relieve minor mouth irritation, or if you just had gum surgery and they recommended you to switch with it for a few days, there's different reasons to use it as an oral rinse for a short amount of time. But it is not intended to be used daily as a teeth whitener. Although I'm aware that a lot of people do. But let me just quickly tell you what can happen if you over swish with peroxide, meaning if you overuse it, which is happening with lots of people who are trying to whiten their teeth by swishing with it daily. Number one, it can cause black hairy tongue, which is an abnormal elongation and discoloration, typically black or brown, of the papillae on the tongue's surface. This happens because hydrogen peroxide does not discriminate between harmful and beneficial bacteria, so it kills off both the good and bad bacteria. This imbalance of the microflora in your mouth can contribute to oral health issues such as black hairy tongue. Now, if you're using it every so often, once in a while, or for less than a week, like the bottle literally says, do not use for longer than one week, then you're more likely than not going to be fine. No reason to worry about black hairy tongue. But excessive use can disrupt the natural balance of bacteria in the mouth, leading to black hairy tongue. Another issue from overuse of peroxide can be mouth sores, oral mucosa irritation. Hydrogen peroxide is a strong oxidizer and can irritate or damage the tissues in the mouth if used too frequently, like we said, or in high concentrations, leading to mouth sores and ulcers. And having said that, on TikTok, the peroxide whitening trend, what inspired this video, the trend is that you swish for 30 minutes straight every single day for weeks and weeks until you feel your teeth look whiter. First of all, 30 minutes is an outrageous amount of time to swish with anything, but TikTokers are claiming that they get whiter teeth from swishing for 30 minutes every single day. Although yes, peroxide, whether it's hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide is the ingredient in teeth whitening products such as strips, trays, and gels, which is why TikTokers think they have found the hack to cheaper whitening by swishing with it straight from the bottle. The issue is that the bottle it's not concentrated properly at all for teeth whitening. And swishing with a liquid, it will take an extremely long time to see any type of whitening results. Think about how the white strips stick on your teeth. They are formulated properly to stick on your teeth with proper concentration of peroxide, often having you leave them on there anywhere from 10 minutes to two hours, depending on the concentration, always read the label direction. But with the liquid straight from the bottle, concentration not only is much lower, but also where the problem comes in is that you're just rinsing your entire mouth. It's fine for your teeth because it's actually a way lower concentration of peroxide than you would get in the white strips. But for your tongue, the inside of your cheeks, the oral tissues around your gums, killing off all the good bacteria in your mouth, like we mentioned earlier, it's increasing your chance of black hairy tongue as well as mouth sores and ulcers. Sure, maybe it will make your teeth appear slightly whiter over time, but no more than a whitening toothpaste would. Again, a toothpaste formulated to help brighten your teeth. Some toothpastes do contain peroxide. These toothpastes are designed to reduce stains from forming on your teeth, not to actually whiten them. I'll link that video of mine if you want to learn more about whitening toothpaste, but for the purpose of this video, swishing with peroxide straight from the bottle, the chance of negatives that can come along with it, it's just not worth it to me for something that is going to take an extremely long amount of time to maybe show any results on your teeth. As a dental professional, I tell my patients who want whiter teeth, it's much easier to just buy white strips and use them. You can find them for like $15 at Target and then you won't have to worry about black hairy tongue or mouth sores. There are so many affordable white strip options out there nowadays. I will link some in the description box below. And before anyone says that I'm pushing product or something, please know that this video is not at all sponsored. I'll link a bunch of different brands. I'm just telling you what I would tell my patients because who wants black hairy tongue or mouth sores? White strips are actually tested for safety and efficacy, especially if they have the ADA seal of acceptance, then you know they work. You won't be wasting your money on trying knockoff whitening products that are being advertised on Instagram, nor will you be wasting your time just swishing with a household item that's intended for as needed use, not intended for daily use. It's one of those things. If you're trying to save money, I get it. The peroxide bottle is like a dollar at Target versus the $15 white strips at Target, but you're gambling with the chance of giving yourself more problems, more problems that will cost 
cost even more than what you would have paid to just do it the right way initially with the strips. You know, that risk always comes with anything DIY. I'm not bashing it, I'm just letting you know. Real talk, it takes forever to see whitening results when you swish, and you also run the risk of having unwanted side effects. I know some of you might say in the comments, well, I swish with peroxide every day and I'm fine. I've never had black hairy tongue or anything like that. My grandma has swished with it, my grandparents swish with it. I get that all the time. Stories about how it worked for some. And I'm truly, that's good. I'm glad some people did not have a bad experience swishing with peroxide daily. But everyone's mouth is different. Everyone's microbiome is different. I've heard so many stories and seen firsthand patients come in asking why their tongue is black and looking for treatment to make their mouth sores less painful. So I personally, I don't wanna mess with my microbiome because I know how that's not a good thing to mess with. In conclusion, although the black hairy tongue and mouth sores won't happen to everyone, I don't think it's worth taking that chance. But if you feel differently, even after watching this, if you still really wanna swish with hydrogen peroxide, I know some of you still will. I'm not judging, I'm just giving the information out here. You do what you want with it. Let me quickly tell you how you can decrease your chances of unwanted side effects if you're about to swish daily. Number one, make sure it's not the 3%. The 1.5% is safer for oral use. If you only have the 3% bottle, I would recommend diluting it with equal parts water. The TikTok trend says not to do this, of course, but I'm trying to prevent your microbiome from going out of whack. Number two, limit use to short periods. Like we said, if you're doing it just for one week or so, okay, but really try to avoid making it part of your daily routine without guidance from a dental professional. Always talk with your dentist and or dental hygienist before you do this. Everyone's mouth is different. Ask them what they think is best for your individual mouth. And number three, if you notice any irritation sores, unusual changes in the tongue's appearance or any other concerning symptoms in your mouth, of course, stop swishing with it. And if it doesn't get better, call your dentist and schedule an appointment to check out your mouth. In all, I think swishing with hydrogen peroxide for teeth whitening is a waste of time. It's not worth the risk of unwanted side effects. It's much easier to use a whitening toothpaste if you're trying to prevent stains from forming. And if you're really trying to whiten your teeth, make them look shades whiter, then whitening products like strips, trays, or gels are the way to go. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And thank you again to the YouTube members here and the Patreon members supporting this channel and supporting dental health awareness. If you want to join the fight in making sure evidence-based health information is being shared online, become part of our Teeth Talk community. The links to join are in the description box below. And until then, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.